government and slavery says, where individuals are self-regulating and self-governing. So this was the what I want list. So this was number 18 um, and that you did on the what do I oh, want. Okay. Said, where individuals are self-regulating and self-governing. He says, this needs to be number one. Since once we get government out of the way, tremendous opportunities will be around us. Right now, government is the main thing holding us back by misleading us with psyops and propaganda, dumbing us down and our youth and its education programs, experimenting on us, suppressing advanced technologies and many other damaging activities. So let me say that all of the complaints that are listed here, um, the government is the main, he says, government is the main thing holding us back by misleading us with psyops and propaganda, dumbing us down in, uh, in their educational programs. So that's the second thing. Experimenting on us, that's the third thing. Suppressing advanced technologies, wow, yes. <laughs> that's the fourth thing. And many other damaging activities. All of those are the things that the cabal was doing. We don't know, but I don't think it, there's two or three generations here right now that have no idea what a good working government is or could be. I don't think we've had one for a hundred years. The question is, can we have one? Can we, is there such a thing as a good working government? Any government that's going to do these things, yeah, that's that, that's not a government at all. I mean, those those are prisoners, prison guards, and we're the prisoners. So um, all of those psyops and propaganda that was stuff done by the the Bushes and the uh, Clintons and things like that, um, dumbing down our youth. Yeah, that was deliberate. That was a deliberate program. That was why I spent 18 years as an educational consultant. It's like, do you guys realize what you're doing? And they did. Tragic. Uh, at suppressing advanced technologies, yeah. 600, 700, 800 new technologies passed or given a patent and then told by the, um, by the government, don't you dare bring that out. You're dead if you do. Seven or 800 patents a year, suppressed technologies. Um, those are things that an honest government doesn't do. So if we talk about governance, at that point now you're talking about a whole different set of structures. And, and it doesn't matter what the structure is. If it's not based on truth, if it's not based on transparency, then you don't have a government and you have a bunch of prison guards or you have a, a structure that is designed to control you. Governance is, government is very often very controlling. Governance, if it's self-governance and people are engaged, then it can be a beautiful thing. At no point can you have this kind of stuff happening. When they change the law, that made it legal for media to produce propaganda instead of news, they stopped telling us the truth right then. We haven't had real news. We haven't known what's really happening for years. They passed that law and said, oh, it's okay. You can do propaganda. Why did they pass that law? Because they wanted to make sure that we didn't get the truth. Why did they pass all those other laws that make a corporation, a person, not a people, a person. Corporations have all the rights that we have. They made us persons and they made the corporation persons. We're not persons, we're people, and there's a difference legally. So we have a, a long way to go, um, and, and maybe it does need to be number one. But I would add a word. He says, uh, where individuals are self-regulating and self-governing, I would say where aware and truthful individuals are self-regulating and self-governing, that they have personal responsibility. That's what the robe said. That's our next stage of development, personal responsibility. That is what the next stage of governance is going to be. 
It's very different from what we have now. Yes, very. Isn't there some kind of governance that is required so that we could all use the same roads and respect our neighbors? And I don't know, maybe, you know, the new communities that we're going towards, we won't need that anymore. But how does, well, how, you know, there's still a form. Is it the wrong word? Governance? Is that, you know, is that a, not the right word to no. be? It doesn't matter who you have um, in terms of groups of beings. Uh, there's a form of governance that really has to be there. Um, and that just means that those, those people are going to make some rules that they want to live by. And, and since the, our world is not perfect, things go wrong, what do you do then? How do you handle the bad apple? In the ancient days or the old days, they banished that individual. It didn't always work. The banished individual went somewhere else and tried to fit in, but sometimes they had a revelation and changed their ways, but sometimes no. So the, the, there is governance at, and in the, what I've seen in the future is that we have a whole bunch of these councils um, and there are councils that um, people have set up to talk with one another because communication is absolutely critical. If you don't know what's going on in your neck of the woods, then you really, you, how can you run that? How can you govern that? If it's a family, like the family business neighborhoods, they meet and talk several times a year and they meet and talk. Some of, they have representatives that go meet with other representatives from other families. Um, and, and, they, and then there's the big council, the council of ethics. Uh, there's, there has to be some form of governance. As long as that is responsive to us, as long as it takes the shape that we want to give it, as long as it exhibits the wisdom and the truth and the loving understanding, compassion and grace and the tough love that it needs to, we'll be okay. We can have some governance. Yeah. <laughs>